which is I'll just go into this view first. Hexagon. No, not hexagon. It's Tactics. triangle strategy. So I spent some time, about five hours, with Square Enix's latest HD 2D title uh, in their, I think, very expensive soon <laughs> series of HD 2D titles. Um, and yeah, like it's interesting. I, like I kind of promised that I'll be buying every single one of these HD 2D titles. I do stress that they're going to start releasing like so many yeah, of them. Yeah, and I still don't remember why you make a promise like that, but okay. No, like I'll, I'll just say from the start, and we'll jump into like the graphics. Like, well, actually, let me let me hold off on that. Let me hold off on that. So, like, firstly, like, what is this game? So, it's a tactical RPG, much more in the vein of like a Final Fantasy Tactics versus like a Fire Emblem. So, there's no permadeath. You know, you have a very expensive roster that you can bring in. And, in characters and out of characters so very much more like a final fantasy tactics than a uh a fire emblem which i'm kind of prefer but I, like as far as like rpgs go i actually love tactical rpgs more than turn-based i played more turn-based but i love i love the battle system of tactical rpgs i just think it's awesome um one thing like i should point out from the start and i, I googled this because i kind of had my suspicions that and I didn't know this. That this is not the same people that developed Octopath Traveler. It's got nothing to do with the people who developed that game, which I kind of must admit. Like I don't know why, but I just mm. kind of assumed that they were the same. It was those guys who developed it. It's not at all. It's got nothing to do with them. Hmm. Um, so Octopath Traveler was developed by Acquire, and they had producers from Square Enix. So like they were pretty heavily involved. I think it was like a dozen people from Square. Whereas this is um, by Art Dink. And it seems like it's very low oversight from Square. Like it wasn't like producers and, you know, art design. So it's quite interesting to me. What's um, interesting, sorry, just it's also yeah. on the publishing, because this may feed into that. So Nintendo are the worldwide publishers, but I think Square Enix are the publishers in Japan, I think. Yeah, yeah, correct. Mm. So like yeah. Nintendo are the publishers as so far as it pertains to the Switch, right? So like it seems like they've funded part of this game with Square Enix and that's happened with uh, Octopath Traveler which I think makes sense if you look at the style of this game I think it certainly would appeal initially to more Nintendo fans and I think that strategy worked really well for Octopath and then they went off and published it everywhere Octopath like it's on you know it was on Game Pass it might still be on Game Pass yeah I don't think it's hit PlayStation 4 yet actually I think it oh because really I think sure. some I was reading PC. I was reading a comment before, like, oh, bring Octopath to PS4. Oh, wow, yeah. That's, I don't... That's, yeah. No, yeah. you're right. It isn't on yeah. uh, PlayStation. I'm yeah. sure it will be eventually, but... Eventually, yeah. I, like, I yeah. highly recommend play, people playing Octopath. It's an awesome game. Different to this is that's a turn-based RPG uh, versus this tactical RPG, but I did have my suspicions that it wasn't the same people based on playing the game. So, like, I'm fairly early into the game, but just, like, some stuff that surprised me, it's like... This game is so story focused and so heavily story focused. It actually like blew me away. And I was like, is this going to wane a bit? And I checked some of the reviews out briefly without trying to spoil myself. And like, nope, like it's massively like over emphasizing the story. But like, strangely enough, like, and I usually, you know, Swinney more, more so than Mike, like the stories in these RPGs, I'm like, whatever, I don't even give a shit, right? I just play play through the game. I'm actually kind of digging this story because it like taps into the shit that I like, which is you know strategy. Like it's it's pretty dumb, right? Because you've got like three opposing camps, so you've got the very natural order of like rock scissors paper, and you just the story kind of plays out in that environment. You know, like warring mm. factions, enemy of my enemy type of stuff. But I kind of like that political stuff. Like it, it's clicking with me and. Kind of going to the demo, there's a really robust demo for this game. Like, I don't understand people who don't play the demo before buying it. Like, you can download it right now. You can play, I think, the first three chapters and your progress will carry on. So to me, it's just a complete no-brainer to, to play the demo and get the demo. Because okay. um, if the story much doesn't better. click with you, I would not get this game. Because the story is, like, crazy how much it, like, it emphasizes the story versus, like, Octopath Traveler, for instance. Mm. Okay. Um, in terms of the battle system, it's like, you know, very awesome, but non-revolutionary tactical style battle system. 
very good balance of characters and like abilities, uh, you know, focusing on healing versus like attacking and, you know, the very classic sort of tactical thing of, you know, having a higher ground, being able to like take advantage of that, blocking in characters, you know, making their mobility less, picking off like weaker enemies. It's all sort of there, all the kind of traditional stuff you'd see with tactical games. The, the kind of call out that I do want to make to people is, like the graphics, like part of the reason why I like, I'm like, I'm going to get these games is because like the way it looks, I love the way it looks. It looks but, sick. But this game is weird, right? This game is weird. So this game really suffers from dynamic resolution. So Octopath definitely looks better on PC, but it looks great on the Switch, right? It looks awesome. This game suffers way more from dynamic resolution changes but the problem with that is the game is sort of like, you know, a pseudo 3D, 2D environment with pixel drawn art characters, right? But when the resolutions are like getting cramped down so much, what ends up happening is the switch is like, like, like what I believe <clears throat> is happening is like doing a bilinear filter to expand it out to like a 1080p screen and the pixel art becomes all blurry. It's almost like, you know, like a SNES emulator that you're putting like a blur effect on. Oh, yeah. And it's sort of like, dude, this like wrecks the, the, the look and feel of the game. And like, like, again, I think, you know, my recommendation, it, like, look, it, it's certainly noticeable for me. It's not at a threshold where I'm like, oh, it's shit. Like, I'll get part, like, I won't play it. Because the gameplay is very smooth. You know, it feels very like lock 60, all that kind of stuff. Or lock 30. It just, you know, you don't see frame rate dips or anything like that in this kind of game. But yeah, I do want to flag that to people. And then I would say, like, it's going to come out on PC. If that bothers you, wait till it comes out on PC and play it on PC. Because that will be like a full-on 1080p style game. I can't might, imagine they get to patch this, so... It might take a little bit, though. It's just it's a heads up. Because Octopath did take a little bit as well. Like, you to mean... come out of Oh, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It took, like, uh, this like, like a year and a bit, yeah. I feel like it, it's just perfect for the Switch, though. Other than what you just described with the issues. Yeah, and it's a bit of a shame. And so this is what Switch triggered me title. to search for, like, who made this game? Because Octopath looks so good. Like, I never had noticed an issue like that in Octopath. Like, mm. a little bit. Like, you go back to the Digital Foundry. And I, I think it's a bit nitpicking. I would love if Digital Foundry did this game because, like, I'm really fascinated to see what's going wrong with the graphics. Mm. And, like I said, my theory is that the resolution is just too low. It's expanding it out and then, you know, it's just doing a blur effect. Like, it, like I kind of... I don't know if the Switch is capable of this, but I wish that they just did, like, a nearest neighbor. So make it all chunky and pixelated. I think it would look better because the character art, it's so noticeable when it's blurry, when it's pixel art, so... But having said all of that, I'm really enjoying it. I love these style games. I'm just going to park it for the next game that we're going to talk about. So hmm. that was okay. it from me. Well, I, yeah. I have one I have one question. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, did you get past the bridge? <laughs> so <laughs> on that, they've actually changed the way the game works. And it's like you actually have to change a setting for them to not show you the controls. It's like they've made it really large. And really clear at all points. So they must have got feedback from people. They listened to this like show. Me. They listened to this show. They did. They yeah. did. <laughs> because it was like, I was like, why are they constantly telling me how, you know how like um, the NES and SNES and N64 emulators on Switch have the, this is what the controls are. And they've obviously yeah. play tested it and found that people just can't exit or can't pause and shit like that. So yeah, like all the way through the game, it's constantly going, this is the controls. Like and at the bottom, like as an overlay. Like, I'm like, this is crazy. So, Interesting. Yeah, definitely huh. people like Mike. Um, but There's yeah, no, no, dozens really, of really us enjoying. idiots. Dozens. So, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll park this game for the next game. And then there's, um, uh, what is it called? I've, I've forgotten. Uh, Live Alive. That, that'll Live be the Alive. next one that I, that in this kind of series almost of games. But that's coming out not too far away. So, I better get on it in this yeah. game. I think they're saying it's about 30 to 50 hours, this game, to complete. So, it's quite chunky. 